Please don't stop the music. This is Good Morning Delhi with Chris. Radio One. Rihanna would please don't stop the music. Don't intend to. It's 9.28 and of course you are with me, Chris, right here on Good Morning Delhi and joining me in the studio this morning for the second time. It's been a while. I've got Vinita Singh. She's the trustee at We The People. They're a citizens group that aim to create awareness about, uh, well, your citizenry, citizen groups, responsibilities. Uh, good morning, Vinita. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you, Chris. Nice to be back. Nice to have you here. Um, so, you know, we've been we've been talking back and forth about what it is that we'd like to bring to the table again. Uh, how's we the people going, by the way, just to get a get a sense of how the group is functioning and are your numbers growing? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we, we are a volunteer group mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, basically operating in Mumbai and Gurgaon, NCR region and also in Bangalore. But yes, the number of volunteers really going up, mm-hmm. people who want to facilitate going up. Mm-hmm. So we do really awareness and training among citizens. Mm-hmm. We believe that it's it's a serious business of training yourselves as citizens I to know. be able to work in this democracy. So uh, we, we do that. And uh, uh, the numbers are going up. And this time, the 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 uh, we have a campaign which is running mm-hmm. uh, which is called Constitution Connect mm-hmm. which goes on from November 26 to mm-hmm. Jan 26 mm-hmm. and that's really taking off mm-hmm. uh, Constitution Connect absolutely mm-hmm. and uh, we are now doing citizen cafes mm-hmm. uh, in uh, about 25 different cities and towns and all being managed by volunteers so what do you do at the citizen cafe at, at these meetings that you'll have uh, what we do here is really to get uh, create a space people mm-hmm. come in and discuss uh, the preamble to the constitution of India I wasn't very good in <laughs> civics class it always gave me heartburn yeah. uh, so but it's really a no brainer isn't it it, it is. I mean, if you, you know, what's the deal here? You get into an organization, mm-hmm. you get an induction, perhaps sometimes even for a month mm-hmm. into what the vision and values of that organization is. Mm-hmm. And uh, what about getting into the citizenry of India? I mean, yeah. you've got a deal here. There is a, a vision and values document. Mm -hmm. which is the constitution. Mm -hmm. It's clearly outlined in the preamble. Mm -hmm. And we've got to reconnect with it. We've got to understand what it's asking of us, actually. Mm -hmm. So the preamble and the constitution. Can you just explain the preamble and what's its relation to the constitution? What part of the constitution it is? Well, it it, it is, the preamble is usually the, the... the spirit, the direction, the values mm-hmm. of what then is the way in which this country will be run, right. how it will be run. Right. The Constitution, of course, is a much bigger document which sure. talks about the structure of the mm-hmm. state, what the state will be doing, mm-hmm. what are the responsibilities. Everything is clearly delineated there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what processes are going to be in place. Mm-hmm. However, n- the process has to follow from a basic fundamental value. So it's like the heart of the constitution. Absolutely. Right. And the fantastic thing is that our the preamble of our constitution is totally based on human values and it's so fantastic to be able to see how that connects with our lawmaking. So you've got etc. words you've got words like um, well, equality, mm-hmm. liberty, mm-hmm. justice, mm-hmm. these are fraternity, these are fundamental values on the basis of which our country is meant to be running. Wonderful. Oh. This is giving me goosebumps now. <laughs> but this is wonderful. And um, I'm going to come back with Vinita and we're going to talk about this whole idea of training yourself to be a part of a thriving, functioning, admirable democracy. Right? We're going to talk about what that entails. So stay tuned. Today's an important day. This is an important discussion. Today's election day and it's a fitting conversation. So stay tuned. I've got Dr. Albin with this great song. It's my life. It's my life. Also, Britney Spears coming up with. You want a great democracy? You got to go vote. It's 9.33. 
This is Good Morning Delhi with Chris. Radio 1. Britney Bay, Britney Spears uh, spewing some wisdom. Well, actually, it depends. Uh, if you want to get what you want to get, then you're going to have to work. And I'm going to use that as a little uh, 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 an example or uh, an expression of how we as citizens need to be. We need to work if we want this democracy uh, to be everything that it should be for this country to be realized to its full potential i've got with me this morning vinita singh trustee at we the people a t- citizens group that aims to create awareness about well citizens uh, responsibilities and rights that is what they're about um you know we were talking a while back about training yourself to be a fully functioning citizen you know so i want to discuss about where we are right now as citizens vinita we were talking about it offline off air where we are right now and where we should be ideally as citizens so where are we right now i think we are more at the stage it's where um it's all about everybody else you mm-hmm. know it's uh it's about how things don't work but somebody else is responsible for not making it work okay so uh i think the space where we are in is it's it's their problem mm-hmm. and uh, and where i feel we have to be because after all if it's if it's democracy it's about us it's actually not even us it's about me it's my my ownership yeah. yes and it's my responsibility therefore to make things work i think first of all the main thing where we need to be is take ownership for this this didn't happen to us it is about us it's about me and therefore it means that the two things we've got to do one is accept that these values these ways of doing things or mm-hmm. working on it mm-hmm. is something i need to do every day Mm-hmm. you know it's about how i'm going to be in my house mm-hmm. how it's going to be at my workplace mm-hmm. it's about a personal practice every day mm-hmm. so what does this mean it means that when i'm at home i'm of course uh, concerned about the rights that i hold mm-hmm. but am i looking out for people around me and thinking about their rights uh, one of the uh, a citizen cafes this came out very strongly uh, you know we as employees are quite conscious of our rights yeah, with respect to yeah what we get the uh, increment exactly. and exactly exactly timings exactly, exactly. Yeah. but what about the rights of people who work for us mm-hmm. domestic workers who are working for us do do are you, are you making sure sure that you know what the wage is supposed to be mm-hmm. how much they should be getting and there was this person who said you know i get my on the first of every month the people who work for me in my homes get that mm-hmm. they didn't ask for it possibly they have never discussed it but it's just a belief that that's how yeah. i will act out my responsibility yeah. towards others yeah. now this is daily citizenship mm-hmm. and there is no you know ralph nader said that uh, there is no daily democracy without daily citizenship it's mm-hmm. as simple as that it's every day for us to do it so we're talking about shifting an attitudinal shift absolutely from them yes to me exactly so if something didn't work out i need to look inwards if Absolutely. uh you know the garbage didn't get collected in your neighborhood you should look at you did yes. you do anything about it exactly. did you get in touch with your rwa did you you know figure out how maybe this could become a system and stuff yes. would get collected which authority is responsible for that did you get out there and complain did you get online and complain there yeah. are various methods to do that mm-hmm. yeah and and these are the ways in which you can actually take ownership and take action mm-hmm. i'm going to actually bring it down to this particular election also vinita because uh delhi despite a, a really big urban base with a very affluent educated electorate has demonstrated the worst voter apathy uh, in fact uh, in 2008 it's been recorded as the lowest voting percentage of 56% that's not cool is it absolutely not i'm I mean, hoping that they turn the tables on that yes. you're looking at madhya pradesh chatisgarh rajasthan recorded a turnout of more than 70% absolutely. you think delhi can trump that absolutely i think they they will mm-hmm. trump that mm-hmm. uh increasingly there's uh, there's a lot more awareness mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. about yes things are not great mm-hmm. but there's only one person who can make it great and that's me so i have to get out there and exercise my responsibility as a voter definitely all right more conversation coming up right here i've got bonjour we coming up right now with <laughs>
keep the faith, all right? It's 9.51 and it's coming right up. Right here on 94.3 Radio 1. This is Good Morning Delhi with Chris. Radio 1. Carl Douglas with Kung Fu Fighting. So it's a place where martial arts meets disco. It is five minutes past ten and you're with me, Chris, right here on Good Morning Delhi. And in the studio with me this morning and it's election day. Everyone's out there, I know, getting into lines and waiting to cast their vote, which is great. Uh, uh, I've got Vinita Singh with me right here in the studio from We The People. They're a citizens group that aims to create awareness about a citizen's rights and responsibilities. So one of your responsibility uh, and a right is your is your vote. Yes, absolutely. It's both. Yes. It's a right and a responsibility. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, but, you know, here we're looking at a... Th- this is a day and age of brands, of faces, of names, of people. So here you're thinking who you're voting for. But you told me or you discussed with me as the idea of what it is that you're voting for. Absolutely. I mean, in, uh, so who is an important question, but I think even more important is what are you voting for? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, from our point of view, the what clearly flows from the values in the preamble. Okay, so if so, you're wondering what it is that I'm voting for, yeah. uh, you're, you're, curi- you're, 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 you're confused yeah. and you're saying, what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. I've never run a state. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know what this whole administration thing is all about. Yeah. So you're saying that you just have to look at the preamble. Absolutely. In that's in the sense. Okay, so let me explain. Uh, one part of it is, of course, the delivery of development. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what will this brand deliver in terms of in terms of development? But the the second part of it, which we've been talking about and which is crucial, is what are the fundamental principles and values that you think that brand will be able to work on? He has been working on and will work on. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, if you look at if you look at manifestos, mm-hmm. uh, w- the thinking that we must have is: Would this manifesto clearly ensure that these values of justice, equality, liberty are they always going to be protected for me? Is my freedom going to be protected? Is my equality guaranteed under this manifesto? And is justice at the heart of this brand's policies and plans? That's the crucial decision making here. But I don't think anyone's thinking like that anymore, Vinita. Everyone's thinking my metro, my road, my, uh, you know, um, all those those hygiene factors, those tangibles, you know. No one's thinking about the spirit in which any of that is being delivered. Because I, I th- do you think maybe it's because we've had freedom for so long we don't know what it feels like to have to not have it? Yes, I mean it is. It is the tangible is always is always you know somewhere around you, but you're not conscious of it. Mm-hmm. However, it is you know so of course the delivery of of all that tangible is very important. One sure. is not saying, but we've got to be very intelligent about it and look at the fundamentals of it, in the sense that. Suppose our freedom goes away. Suppose the way in which we actually are able to move around or our equality, uh, there is something that's compromise taken away that. or compromised. Yeah. We're going to feel that much stronger than any of these uh, tangibles. Yeah. And therefore, our responsibility is to make sure that basic foundation is protected at all time, at, at any all cost. cost. Absolutely. Right. All right. You intelligent voter, think about all these things. Uh, analyze the manifestos of the various parties and your candidates on offer and make an educated choice. The power is in your hands, right? All right, more conversation right here with Vinita Singh. Uh, We're talking about a whole bunch of things, but it's election day. We're keeping the conversation focused on that. And I'm talking about, well... I always bring it down to the music. You know me, I can't resist. Marky Mark coming up right now with good vibrations. That's what Delhi's looking for. And we know that you're going to give it to them. It's all in your hands. Uh, stay tuned because we've got a little more conversation right here. Uh, Vinita's going to be telling you about how you can be a part of We The People. And uh, they've got enough meetings that they organize right here in the city. Sometimes even on uh, the uh, right there on the street. So you can be a part of that. I'll tell you how you can. It's 10 minutes past 10 and it's good vibrations right here.
This is Good Morning Delhi with Chris. Radio 1. 1021 it is and that was Florida Florida with uh, Nelly and that was called Cruise uh, it's uh, 1021 uh, like i said and i've got with me in the studio this morning Vinita Singh trustee at We the People uh, they are a citizens group that uh, aim to create awareness about citizen rights and responsibility about your rights and responsibility uh, you're exercising one of those rights and responsibilities today when you head out to vote uh for the De- uh, delhi elections i hope you do it wisely i hope you do it with an educated ma- uh, manner in an educated fashion i'm sure you are uh, uh we're looking at a a very uh, sort of stimulated i think uh, citizenry now much more than some years ago what do you say vinita Yes, there has been a lot of change in the way in which people are thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we can see it in the way in which people are actually joining up with us. Uh, you know, uh, we had a citizen cafe on the streets in Gurgaon as part of you know uh, another citizens initiative, which is called Rahagiri. And uh, you know, out there we had thirty-five, forty people who were sitting through this hour and a half, mm-hmm. uh, which would typically be okay. What are we talking about? We are talking about the preamble to the constitution. institution i mean what is this mm-hmm. but moving from there looking at actually what actions i commit to take mm-hmm. to make gurgaon a better place or to make delhi a better place or just make my ne- neighborhood a much better place or so, my home or my home a better place exactly because you know we know that equality begins at home yeah. and you whatever be the laws that are out there we won't see it happening in the way in which we want it sure. unless we start at home yeah. so this is what Uh, what we also had was you know these numbers of people who went through the whole process but we had 15 20 people on looking standing there saying when's the next citizen cafe uh that's it encouraging was, isn't it's it it's encouraging and and as i said uh you know we put this out in social media we've had people from all over the country uh you know bhagalpur we've had people from ranchi we've had people from udaipur coming back and saying we want to do a citizen cafe here mm-hmm. it's simple it connects but not only with what just what we are doing but when we look around us and what's happening there is certainly a movement towards taking ownership and thinking about uh, this is this is for me so let's let me start doing this mm-hmm. certainly there's a drift towards that mm-hmm. but we've got to make it work so there's hard work ahead mm-hmm. yeah? yeah but uh, that's the only way to do it it means you got a new function a new job title Yes, protector of the constitution. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So um where can people sign up, join up? How can they get uh, more information about We the People? Well, it's on our website. Mm-hmm. So it's www.we-the-people.in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, and especially if you want to get uh, oriented towards the NCR work that we are doing, mm-hmm. so uh, Gurgaon and Delhi and and Noida, then you can reach us at we the people Gurgaon okay. one word. at gmail.com so okay. that's we the people gurgaon right. at gmail.com great yes so right great in. having you here vinita it was really enlightening and uh, also very stimulating so thanks a lot thank and you i'm sure there'll be a whole bunch of things that we'll need to address it's not it's far from over it's a work in progress is what democracy is right absolutely all yeah. right all right Bye-bye. coming up <laughs> uh coming up right now i've got laura brannigan with this great song it's called gloria I'm going to come back with uh well I'm going to tell you a little about Human Race Day which is something we're celebrating in a big way right here on Radio 1. It comes up next week. What does it mean for us at Radio 1 what it means for you? I'll tell you about it.